Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll learn how to prepare land use land cover map using this support vector machine classifier. So what is actually this support machine uh, classifier that we'll see? The actually the SVM means support vector machine classifier is a powerful supervised classification method. Okay. It is a well suited for segmented raster input, but can also handle standard imagery. It is a classification method commonly used in research community. The advantages of this SVM over a maximum likelihood classification is that the SVM classifier need much fewer sample and does not require the samples to be normally distributed. And it is less susceptible to noise, correlated bands and unbalanced number or size training sites within each class. So this is the benefit of uh, SVM over this maximum likelihood classification. So today we'll see how we can able to prepare the land use land cover classification using this support vector machine classifiers. So we have a data set that is a land set. And this land set a data set you can download from the UHS Earth Explorer. I have already shown in previous videos that also you can able to see. And I will add a band here up to one to seven bands I will add here. So band one, band two, then band three. Okay, band four, band five, six, and the seven. I have added this seven band here because all the seven band is having a uh, same special resolution. If you'll see here, all the band is having mostly 30 meters special resolution. So the for the band composite, we require all the bands should have a special uh, resolution equal like the 30 meter and also it is having the same spatial extent. So after that we can go for the classification technique. So in the R toolbox, here is the R toolbox in the R toolbox for the band composite, we'll go to the data management tool, the data management tool. There is a raster in the raster. There is a raster processing, in the raster processing. There's a composite band. So we need to add this band one by one. So sequentially so take band one first then band two band three band four like this we need to add all our bands sequentially so band two band three band four band five band six and band seven after that, just we need to save this composite in which folder we are working. So the D drive, I have one folder in that I will create a new folder. SVM classification in that I will save as this is a composite band. Dot tiff, click on save and just click on OK. So I'm saving this in a uh, one folder. So what we're doing here, we are composing, uh, compositing band, all these band are different bands to create a false color composite. We need to, uh, create a band composite. So to, after creating a band composite, we can able to see where is the vegetation, where is the water body using the different band combination. We can identify the things on a satellite imagery. So our band composite is ready here. Now we can able to check here. So let's go to symbology. So I will select a false color composite five, four, three, apply and okay. So now these things we don't require now. So we can remove from here and now we can able to identify the things here The this is the water body. So we'll take some samples for the water body. So this one is the agriculture area. This is the mostly our built up area is there. Then this area is having some forest area. So like that, we can able to create uh, some training samples. And uh, as we are creating uh, some training samples after that, uh, whatever the sample will provide, suppose we'll take some samples here for the built up some samples will take for the built up. So wherever there will be the uh, built up after that, 
doing the algorithm, it will show us a bit up here. So for that, we need to create a training sample first. We need to plot a training first. So that is a supervised technique that we are going to use here. So I will take uh, these training samples here. The classification tool, uh, you can add from here, customization. Here in the extension, in the extension, we need to select the spatial analytics. When we'll select the spatial analytics, this classification tool will activate. Or from right click here, you can also, uh, from right click here, we can add this image classification tool. After adding this image classification tool, from here, we can, uh, from these training samples, we just need to take some training samples here. So just add polygon here. So I will take some samples for this uh, built up area. Or if you are getting, or if you are facing problem while identifying the things on the satellite imagery, what we can able to do, we can add a base map here. So we can add a base map here. So after adding a base map, uh, we can able to see it is built up there or not. So if it is built up there, we can provide this class. And uh, after that, we can group the, we can group all the samples. And after that, we can provide a name to it. So we can able to check here. So see, this is the built up area. And uh, let me take more samples for this built up. So let them group together and I will provide name as a built up and I will provide a red color to it. So similar way, I will take a sample for the water body. So this is the water body. Wherever there is a water body, I will take some samples. Like that, we need to take a samples for water body. So let's select this from first to last water there by using the shift key and just merge it. And provide here is a water bodies. I will provide a blue color to it. After that, uh, we will add vegetation or forest area and agriculture area. So this area is mostly forested area. So now we can able to see here. So we'll provide vegetation or forest you can provide here. So just, I will merge it. I will provide a forest. I'll provide a green color here. After that, uh, we'll provide this agriculture area. So now you can able to see here, this area is having an agriculture area. So just take some samples for the agriculture area. So just I will group them together and I will provide as a Like that, we can add a number of classes here, like a barren land. Then uh, also, if there is a mining area is there or any area is there. So like that, we can add number of classes here. So like this, we need to check what are the classes are there. We can add more classes here, but uh, for being example here, I'm taking only these four classes. And after that, we just need to go, uh, again, we need to go the Spatial analysis tool. In the spatial analysis tool, there is a segmentation and classification. In the segmentation and classification, this we need to use here. But before that, 
we need to save these training samples. You just need to click here as a save training samples. So in the ESVM, I will save training sample. After saving this, just click on the this segmentation and classification. There is a train support vector machine. So just input raster images over this span composite. Then input training sample feature, which which we just save this training samples that we need to add. So this I have saved in video lecture. This is SVM. So this training samples which we have saved, add here. Then output classified defi definition file means where we need to save this SVM file. So I will save in the same folder. I will provide a name. Yes. VM training. Just click on save and just click on OK. Now we are creating this train support vector classifier. So this train support vector classifier is now ready. So after that, we just need to click on classifier raster. And here in, so before saving training samples, we just need to click here as a save training samples. So in the ESVM, I will save training sample. After saving this, just click on the this segmentation and classification. There is a train support vector machine. So just input raster images over this span composite. Then input training sample feature, which which we just save this training samples that we need to add. So this I have saved in video lecture. This is SVM. So this training samples which we have saved, add here. Then output classified defi definition file means where we need to save this SVM file. So I will save in the same folder. I will provide a name. Yes. VM training. Just click on save and just click on OK. Now we are creating this train support vector classifier. So this train support vector classifier is now ready. So after that, we just need to click on classify raster. And here input raster, I will provide this same as our this composite band. After that, input classifier definition file, which we just save as a SPM file. This SPM file we need to add. That is a dot .ecd dot ecd format should be there and output raster that is a yes v m l u l c dot tiff and just click on ok so our final classification map will be prepared So finally, our ESVM map is prepared. 
so now here you will see here is the built up area below so we can able to see the built up area then this yellow color is for the agriculture land where there is agriculture land we can able to see agriculture land where there is a forest it is showing a forest and where there is a water body it is showing a water body accurately if you will get some mismatch uh, if you will get this mismatch here okay we are getting now you can able to see here somewhere there is a no built up area okay but it is showing us a built up area then what we need to do we again need to add some samples here we need to define this area again okay so here it is showing uh, built up area so what we need to do again we need to take some samples here okay and we need to provide we need to merge this with our uh, forest area okay so this is our forest so we just need to merge with it forest and again we can save these samples again we need to save this training samples and after saving this just go to again train support vector classifier and after going to support vector classifier you again follow the same process then this area what are the area are there which is showing in built up now again it will convert to your uh, forest area because uh, this pixel it conclude as a built up area but actually this is not built up area so we just need to take samples and again we need to after adding this after merging this we can again go to the same process and after that this change this area will change to our forest area so like this we need to do this again and again this classification then our accuracy will be more and uh, we can add more classification here uh, after that there will be more accuracy so this way you can able to prepare this uh, SVM classification very easily.